How's it going there, guys? It is COD Master 2014 here, January 29th, 2016, 7.52 in the p.m. on the West Coast. And there is a really large earthquake coming into the seismograph stations that I have pulled up. Um, these are at various locations across the globe. And it's definitely hitting all these live uh, seismograph stations here. It's coming off of a large earthquake in the region over around Russia. Now you can see this area right here. Um, the big circle right there, the biggest one. I can bring this down a little bit and show you uh, just earthquakes that have happened recently. So 7.0 showing up right there uh, just above um, Japan a little ways there. And there has been some increased activity along the uh, Pacific Plate for a while now. Let me see if I can pull this up a little bit more, give you some uh, information about this earthquake. So it's 7.0 um, located in that town or village in Russia. And uh, see how far below the surface this thing is here. 99.3 miles uh, below the surface there. They do have a tsunami statement, but it uh, most likely should not uh, create a tsunami being that it was on land. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, 7.0 showing up. I also wanted to bring you back over here to um, some earthquakes that have been occurring off the northern California coast around the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Let me bring this back, show you exactly where we're at here. So you can see the uh, big 7.0 in Russia, which just occurred. Um, and also uh, two back-to-back 5.0 earthquakes there. Well, basically 4.9. Um, 272 kilometers west of Ferndale, California. So just off the northern California coast, um, around the Gorda Escapement, uh, this whole area right here, the Cascadia subduction zone is what I call it. Um, even though there's specific sections that are called, uh, you know, different names. But um, as you can see right there, 4.9 and also a 5.0 occurring within minutes of each other um, just today. And prior to that, there's been a couple small 3.0s uh, within the same area, all showing signs of increased movement and pressure. Uh, within this area so I'm really uh, surprised to see that 7.0 pop off right there um, around the Russia area I was thinking more along the lines of uh, the southern uh, section over here of the San Andreas fault zone but uh, it's uh, very interesting we are have to keep an eye on it uh, see if that's going to be it for the night but once again a 7.0 earthquake in uh, Russia showing up on numerous seismograph stations here guys pretty big earthquake and uh, as always, we will keep you guys updated. I wanted to uh, pull this up here and uh, bring back uh, bring back the history a little bit and show you guys how many earthquakes have popped off here within just within basically about 48 hours. There, quite a bit of activity going on around the globe. As you can see there, the uh, 5.0s 5.0s showing up uh, in Northern California, and lots of uh, lots of little earthquakes in uh, Nevada, Southern California. And of course, you have your mid threes uh, earthquakes going on in Oklahoma. So let's keep an eye on it. Let's stay safe. Um, I don't think anyone can predict earthquakes where they're going to be. Um, you can get a rough idea of where pressure might be displaced at, um, but it's not 100% true and uh, not uh, you know scientifically proven as of yet. But for right now, um, have a safe night out there, guys. This will be the final report on this earthquake. Stay safe out there.